two important trials that is Fidelio DKD and the Figaro DKD trial which was published in 2020 and 2021 before going into the summary few points with respect to the diabetes and CKD the drugs which are available to stop the progression or RAS inhibitors uh, this is a ACE and ARBs then renin inhibitors SGLT2 inhibitors in this group the newer drugs that is the mineralocorticoid receptor antagonist with the newer drug that is really known they also target to stop the progression of CKD and uh, they are seeing whether there is any cardiovascular or renal benefits are there or not this is a short background going directly into the first trial that is the Fidelio DKD trial which was published in uh, 2020 in NEGM it is basically a phase 3 randomized control trial which was double blinded approximately 5600 people were included the primary outcome was the renal that is kidney failure with the 40 percent decrease in GFR over four weeks or death from any cause secondary is basically cardiovascular that is death from any cause in summary basically it is cardiovascular the dose used was 10 milligram or 20 milligram if the potassium is in the normal range if the potassium is going high than 5.5 this was discontinued or the placebo the result is in the fenrinone group the incidence of primary renal outcome and the secondary outcome were lesser other important point to tell in this trial is they have included type 2 diabetic patient with the HbA1c more than 7 and the CKD where the albuminuric CKD was taken with the EGFR of 25 to 60 or severe albuminuria up to 70 EGFR was taken so this is the short summary in conclusion the Fidelio DKD trial the that fentanyl slow the progression of CKD and reduce the cardiovascular mortality in patients with type 2 diabetes they have shown that treatment with fentanyl resulted in low, lower risk of CKD progression and cardiovascular benefit than placebo so this is the first trial this is followed by the second trial why it came because here if you see they have taken only only the albuminuric patient with the EGFR range of 25 to 16 or 70 with severe albuminuria subsequently further insight regarding the cardio renal efficacy and less advanced CKD was given by the Figaro DKD trial this was also did by the same investigators and the summary is this is the second trial which is the Figaro DKD this is mainly for the cardiovascular outcome there its primary outcome was the renal here it was cardiovascular this was published in August 2021 again in NEJM here also the summary is same similar to figure uh, Fidelio here the thing is easier for range of 25 to 90 was taken that is type 2 diabetes with CKD 2 to 4 or 1 to 2 with severely it is 1 to 2 with the severely increased or 2 to 4 with the moderately increased albuminuria were taken compared to the Fidelio trial they have included stage 1 to 2 also here also approximately 3600 and fenrinone and placebo also same and they have shown that the incidence of the primary outcome primary outcome here is cardiovascular here is secondary outcome is renal lesser in the fenrinone group so this is the conclusion of this figure out trial that is among patients with type 2 diabetes and CKD 1 to 4 with albuminuria as a summary this drug improved the cardiovascular outcome compared with the placebo this is the conclusion Figaro is for cardiovascular outcome benefit Fidelio is for the renal outcome this is the short summary this who want to stop here can stop few points about what is this drug fenrinone 
Affinity known as the newer mineral corticoid antagonist, which is non steroidal, more potent anti inflammatory, anti fibrotic than the steroidal mineral corticoid antagonist. Regarding hyperkalemia, it is better than it causes less hyperkalemia than spironolactone. This is what they have mentioned, but it is not yet clear. And with respect to the CKD progression stoppage, this finrinone is added on top of the maximum RAS blockade in these two trials, both Figaro and PDDU. This is another point to note over here. So, thank you. Rest of the details you can get through the actual article, which is there in the NHIM site. And one more thing, these both Figaro and the Fidelio trial both are funded by the company which manufactures the drug. I thought that is also another important point to mention over here.